San Diego City Council approved a vaccine mandate for all current and future employees and contractors. City workers had until this past week to either get vaccinated, retire, resign, or face termination. I sat down with Mayor Todd Gloria to talk about what the next steps are for the city for those who chose not to get vaccinated. Have you, you know, sent out pink slips to city workers as a result of not complying with the vaccine mandate? No, peak slips are not being issued today, but we are informing the employees who are not in conformance with our city's adopted vaccination mandate uh, that they will now have uh, options, essentially, either to resign, uh, to come into conformance, or to find some other way to deal with this. Uh, city employees do have due process. We'll be following all of the due process rules, uh, so it means that no one is dismissed today. Uh, but we are a significant step closer. Um, I think that has to be taken in the context of the fact that since the vaccine mandate was adopted, we've seen hundreds of employees become vaccinated, and that is undoubtedly helping us now while we're battling the Omicron variant. Is there a new deadline or is it sort of um, a dialogue at this point? It ends up being an individual process. You know, we could have an employee say, well, over the holidays, I got vaccinated. Here's my proof. And that ends that process. You could have someone that files for a religious or a medical exemption, and then we'll follow that process to make sure that that is considered and was to decide whether or not a reasonable accommodation is appropriate. Or we may have folks that are simply unresponsive and then we'll have to follow the termination process. Those processes can take weeks um, and we will follow them. We will follow the law uh, because that's the right thing to do. Um, my hope at the end of the day is that we lose no one over this vaccine mandate. I appreciate and honor all of our employees' uh, contributions to the operation of the city, which is precisely why we ask them to get vaccinated. Their continued good health is critical, not just to their livelihoods, uh, but to our ability to run the city efficiently and effectively. And I saw you post on social media recently saying that, you know, as you just mentioned, hundreds of employees have gotten vaccinated since the vaccine mandate was approved last month. Talk to me about that. What percentage of city workers are in compliance right now? Our latest data, which is different than the data you saw us tweet out uh, just before the holiday, is that we have 88% of our city employees are now vaccinated. Um, that's a great figure. That is significantly higher than where it was uh, back in November uh, when the council voted uh, on a strong uh, eight to one vote to adopt the, uh, the vaccine mandate. Um, we think that that continued upward trajectory will continue to happen. Um, you know, city employees are no different than anyone else. Um, their lives and other circumstances may overcome uh, their ability to get that appointment and to go get vaccinated. Uh, we're trying to create every incentive and every opportunity to get folks vaccinated. Uh, working earlier today to make sure that more employees have access to vaccine clinics um, as, the, as these due dates arrive and as the uh, potential consequences become more significant. Um, but I think every employee uh, who got vaccinated of their own volition, I think those who understood the will of the mayor's office and the council and, and got vaccinated, and I hope that the remaining 1,100 or so uh, that have yet to take that step will choose to do so. Uh, they are important parts of our city uh, team, uh, and we hope that between now and the point of the end of the due process uh, process um, that folks will choose to get vaccinated and that we can move on to serving the people of the city um, as well as we possibly can under this pandemic. And, you know, speaking of that 1100 number, you know, um, we've talked a lot about the San Diego police officers. Obviously, there's been several city employees who are opposed to the vaccine mandate, but the police officer association was one, you know, larger group that expressed their concern over this vaccine mandate. At one point, they said that 300 police officers would you know either quit or face termination if there was an approved vaccine mandate um what can you tell me about police officers and is that a concern as far as public safety in the city goes well i think as to start with acknowledging that the vast majority of our police officers are now fully vaccinated um there is um a minority uh, of our department uh, that are not. Um, they are larger than other of our representative bargaining units, um, but it is still a minority of the overall department. Um, and I will say that I 
fully hope and expect that more of those individuals who are not yet vaccinated will choose to do so um, as they go through this due process uh, period. Um, ultimately, I, any loss of an officer is nothing that I want to have happen. Um, at the same time, we recognize that our police officers pr perform a very important task in our community. They interact every single day with members of the public, as well as other colleagues in squad cars, in stations, um, and in jails. And we need to make sure that they're safe, as well as the people that interact with them are safe. Um, so this is extremely important. Um, and again, I, to every employee who has yet to take that step, I really encourage and ask them to do so. Uh, we're doing this because we care about our employees. We want them to remain healthy. We want them to stay out of the hospital. And we want them to continue to well serve the people of the city. And I was at the December press conference when the vaccine mandate approval was announced. And I remember that there was a representative from the city attorney's office who said that if, you know, uh, police officers quit um, in certain numbers, that perhaps uh, public safety calls would have to be reprioritized. Is that something that has happened or might happen now? Well, Priya, I actually, I would change the frame of the question because I think what is true and what we shared that day is there are already operational impacts because of the pandemic. We already have over 100 officers who have tested positive and who are not able to work today. Um, and that has been the case throughout the pandemic. Uh, we have shut down the police academy on multiple occasions. Um, we have had real impacts and that's why this mandate is important. Um, we know that the way out of this pandemic is through vaccines. Um, and so uh, while some like to speculate on what will happen um, in the future, all I can tell you is what's happening today. And straight ahead on Politically Speaking, Congress has been investigating the deadly insurrection that happened one year ago. I speak to Representative Mike Levin about lessons learned since then. Stay with us.